Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta and today I'm finally going to show you guys all of my pressed glitters. I do also have some loose ones, but it's going to be way too many, so I will probably just do a separate video on all my loose pigments, I guess. Um, as many of you might know, I already have pressed a lot of my Tammy Tanuka pigments and most of these are uh, glittery pigments. So um, these are some of those that I wanted to show you, but I'm not going to swatch these just because they're not that they're super expensive, but <laughs> I just don't want to swatch them again because I already have a video up on these guys and I can just leave a card up um, in the corner right here if you want to go and see that and honestly I'm so in love with all of these, they're so stunning. I don't know if it will focus. <laughs> I will just turn down the lighting so you can see them a little bit better. But in the other video that I just linked for you guys, I swatch them and I tell you guys the names of all of these different pigments. So if you haven't tried Tami Tanuka yet, then I really recommend you to do so. Um, these three are not Tami Tanuka pigments. Um, they're just some tester <laughs> pigments that I tried out pressing first because I didn't want to ruin my Tami Tanuka ones. And then this one is a Tami Tanuka pigment, but it's a white matte one. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing those closer, then just go ahead and go to, sorry, <laughs> and go to that video. Um, I guess next up I can show you my Colourpop glitters. I do have 13 of them. So most of them I have in this beautiful Butterfly Colourpop Empty Magnetic palette. And they look like this. I believe that the Colourpop glitters are some of the most beautiful glitters out there. And personally, I find them really, really easy to use because they have adhesive in them and I have no trouble whatsoever using them. Of course, you get a little bit of fallout, but if you're really careful, then you won't have any fallout. It's all up to you, but for me, it's like I wear glasses anyway normally, so I don't really bother that much. Um, I don't know if I should go through all of the different colors. <laughs> well, I can do it here. Um, so this one... I can, I'm actually going to swatch them all. So this one is Island Hopping, then it's Get Lost, then it's Hungry Ghost, and Boombaya. So I don't know if I'm going to actually swatch them or if I'm just going to hold them up like this. But as you can see, this shade here, Island Hopping, is like a white, uh, beautiful, um, iridescent, I would say, glitter. It has some teal, it has some pink. What else has it? A little bit of green. I don't know, it's very multi-dimensional. And then we have the next one I haven't actually used on my eye yet. It's Get Lost and it has a little bit of a... Like, it has bigger particles than the others. So I guess that's why I haven't used it yet, but it does look really, really stunning. And then I have Hungry Ghost, which is here, and it's... Like, in the pan it looks a little bit white, but it has a teal base, as you can see. Uh, and when you apply it on the eye, it looks more orangey because it has a very strong orange shift. And then, of course, Boombaya is very orange too. So that's how they are looking. I'm just going to see if I can swatch them like very gently here. So here is island hopping. Sorry for my nail, but it broke. <laughs> then it's Get Lost. Then we have Hungry Ghost. I believe that's also in the peach palette. And here you can see what I mean about the orange shift that it has. And I still have a lot left on my finger. And then it's Boombaya. So it's also got a super orange shift, but also an orange base. So Island Hopping, Get Lost, Hungry Ghost, and Boombaya. Next up it's Light Show right here. And then this one I don't really remember the name of, it's one of the newer ones. It's called Blossom, it's more of a pink with a lot of different, like all of these have multi-dimensional um, glitters in them. Then it's Band Tea is this one. A little bit darker 
and then it is Renegade. Renegade is one of the original ones. So it is Light Show, then it's this one because I forgot to swatch them. So this one is Blossom, and this one is Band Tea, and then it's Renegade. So here you have Light Show, so stunning, especially as a topper glitter. Uh, okay, so I did not swatch them in the right order now. So this is Band Tea. Honestly, it just looks like it's the same like multi-dimensional glitter, just with a pink base. And then it's Blossom right here. A lot of the same glitters, as you can see, just a different base. And then it's here, Renegade. So this is like your classic bronzy, goldy glitter shade. With the last row, I'm also going to swatch the last shade that I don't have here. But this one is called IYKYK. I don't really know what it stands for. Um, then the next one, it's called High. And then we have Indio, it's also one of the original ones. And then it's Flutter, which is like a toppy, bronzy, goldy one with strong lilac shift in it. So I, Y, Kai, no, I, Y, K, K, Y, K. Oh my God, that was so hard. And then it's High. Then we have Indio and Flutter. The last color pop glitter I have is the shade Fire right here and I feel like this has a lot smaller glitter particles and I don't like it as much as the others um, but it looks like this so it's also pretty it's just that I prefer the others to this one so this is the one that I was struggling so hard to <laughs> to pronounce I Y K Y K <laughs> then it's the shade High and it's spelled H A I. Then we have Indio right here. I think this is a lot of people's favorite because it's like a, it has, it's just a very rosy, almost like rose gold glitter with multi-dimensional sparkles in it. And then it's Flutter, which I've used actually twice already because I just think it's so unique with the strong purple shift that it has. It's not that easy to see right here, but I can try to like... Oh my god, my camera is going to be covered in glitter now. <laughs> but here you can see it a little bit better. Like how beautiful are these glitters. And then it's the last one here, which is fire. It's the green one. It's also got like multi-dimensional glitter, but as you can see, it's kind of got smaller glitter specks. So that's all of my Colourpop ones. Next up, I guess I can talk about my With Love Cosmetics glitters. I just made a video on, about this that I posted yesterday. Today is Wednesday and yeah, I posted this yesterday. And it's the 5th of February today. But I will just go ahead and swatch them. So this is Snow Angel. Then it's Imperial, Azor, and Berry Red. And I haven't really tried these on my eyes yet. So I'm not sure how these actually work on the eye, like if they crease or not. But I'm really excited to try them and just look at the shade Imperial. It's so pretty. And Snow Angel here will look really beautiful as a topper shade. So here we have Snow Angel. And then it's Imperial. It's really hard to like even explain the color of this because it's like almost lilac-y purple but also blue and then it shifts to a yellowy greeny gold then it's Azor which is just a beautiful beautiful purpley shadow or glitter <laughs> and berry red which is more of a classic red one and if you are interested in seeing these more swatched out like bigger then I do as I said have I do have a video on them I do also have three different glitters from Give Me Glow Cosmetics 
And this one is starting to look really weird, but it's actually one of the last glitters that I bought from them. So I don't know why it's looking like that. But this one is called Heavenly. I will just try to like swatch a little bit on the corner where it looks funny. See if it might just be the adhesive or something. Um, then I have Green Apple here, which is like the most gorgeous glittery green shadow. And First Love, which is a beautiful like sky blue, but it's also kind of light. And these ones do apply so beautifully, they don't crease whatsoever, and as you can see they are super super sparkly, so I do really enjoy these ones. But they're quite expensive, at least for me, because I have to pay so much in shipping to get them here. <laughs> but if there are some glitters that I like the most, these are definitely on my top three maybe. <laughs> so they're super stunning. I'll just go ahead and swatch them underneath here. I'll just swatch Heavenly here so you can also see the difference from Heavenly and Snow Angel. It's got way more of a yellow shift. If anyone owns the shadow Halo by Chemical Cosmetics, it's supposed to be like the glitter version of that. And then we have First Love and Green Apple there. So you can see they're so spark so very sparkly. And I literally still have so much left on my fingers as well. Um, but next I guess I will just go ahead because I have two, only two glitters from OPV Beauty and it's a green and a red one, I just don't remember what they're called and it doesn't say it on the back of them either. Um, these are not magnetic so I have some magnetic, uh, what do you call them? I have magnets underneath them, <laughs> but there are only one red and one green, I believe, from OPV Beauty, and I bought them at Beauty Bay, so I guess I can just leave it up here what the names are, but I don't find these to be as good as the others. I haven't used them in a long time, I just don't find them as sparkly as the others I have, so it will be kind of interesting to put them close to the others here that I have. I'll just put the red here so it's closer to the red one from With Love Cosmetics. I mean, they do look kind of similar, but I feel like this is a little bit more dull. Now I'll put the green here. It doesn't look that bad, but I feel like the one from Give Me Glow, no, yeah, Give Me Glow is a little bit more shiny. But yeah, maybe I should try to use them again. Next up, I also have the Bomb.com palette by Jolie Beauty. It's one of those, I feel like, the palettes that you have that are sold like to different brands, but it's actually the same palettes. Um, these do not adhere that well to the eye. I mean, they adhere, but they crease a lot. So I haven't really been playing that much with them after the first times, but now I have several more glitter glues, so I would be interested in trying them out, but it's probably not going to happen very, very soon. And I'm not going to swatch these because there's so many of them. But yeah, I, I'm not sure if I would recommend this. It's quite cheap though. But I just feel like there are too much oil in them. I don't know if there is, but that's how I feel like. So that they don't adhere as well to the eyelid and they crease. But I will try to find a method like with a glitter glue that works for these because there are a lot of beautiful shadows here like this one is really pretty that aqua blue greenish one is super pretty and it's really sparkly this champagne gold one it has some beautiful pink ones yeah there's just a lot of beautiful shades in here so it would be great to have like to get some use out of it and then i believe it's the last glitters that i have so this is the whole palette where I have my last Colourpop one and then I also have the OPV ones right here. Then I have a <laughs> highlighter from Luxie Beauty and I have the two sugar pill shadows that I own. But all of these are actually from Makeup Revolution and it's two, two or three? I don't know, it's two or three different glitter sets. So yeah, I'll go ahead and swatch these for you. As you can see, these are not like as sparkly, I would say, as the others, but I have used several of these. I guess you can also see it here, but 
I have used them and they do sit quite well on the eye. I don't really struggle with them creasing. Um, I do believe I used glitter glue with them though, but I can't promise anything because I don't really remember. But there are quite a few beautiful glitters here. And I do think they have names, but I'm not going to list up all of the names. I just know that there are three different sets, so I will leave the names of the different sets, but I don't really have them in the right order or anything, so I'll just go ahead and swatch them for you guys. And you can just check those sets out if you're interested in any of these. Okay, honestly, these are really hard to swatch, so I think I'll just show them on my finger. They're just getting like more foiled when I do so, because they basically just stick to my finger. So these I do apply with a brush though. But these are the first shades. This one is a little bit multi-dimensional. These are just stunning, more neutrally goldy shades. Here you can see the <laughs> shift in that shade right here when I have the shadow above it because it's like a green to pink and it's really beautiful. So this one is very duochrome as you can see. Just really pretty glitters. If you want to start out with glitters I guess I could recommend these because they have a lot of different shadows and or a lot of different shades and they're quite quite um, cheap. I think you get five of them for like, I don't know, five dollars or so. Here you have this darker, rosy, almost a bit reddish pink. Then you have this beautiful multi-chrome. It's like gold and, sorry about my nail, <laughs> but it's like gold and pink and almost a little bit green and blue. And it's, it's a very stunning green one. I'll just hold it up next to these other greens so you can see how it looks compared to those. Almost like a mix of them. Then we have this beautiful teal. It's a beautiful more fuchsia pink. And then it's a quite red glitter here. And these are very shiny but not like sparkly glitters. I feel like that's why I personally prefer the others that I have. I will just hold uh, the red one up to the other reds here, so you can see. Looks a little bit more like a shimmer almost. And here you see how dull this looks compared to the others. <laughs> My camera is almost dying, so I'll just quickly swatch these last ones. Some of them are a little bit hard in the pan, but here's like a orangey gold one, a yellowy gold, and a blue. Now we'll just also hold the blue up against the one from Give Me Glow. As you can see, it's a lot darker. So that is all of my pressed glitter swatched out. I do hope that you liked this video and it was somehow helpful. Um, if you have any questions about any of these, especially like the ones that I didn't name, you can just ask me and I will try to answer. And yeah, if you have any other questions about the application or anything, just ask. So thank you so much for watching. Remember to press the thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. Thanks for watching. Bye! Still feels the breaking, but you make my world so bright, feels so right.